It is, ma'am. But we weren't aware the mansion has a- What do you mean? The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. However, we haven't heard any- If you'd like- Seriously, what happened? You're already assuming something happened. I'll think about it, but if ever... Let me do that again. You're such an ass.
up, Ashton. You're avoiding the question again. They're just my clients. Yeah, you mentioned that, but that doesn't mean... And I see no reason why you should be suspicious of them. Everyone has a reason to be. All I'm saying is you should be careful who you deal with, especially those people. You can't just go tell people to avoid them. At least tell me why. Can't. Will you just listen to me? <laughs> Can you even hear yourself? You're not making sense! Now, now, kids, settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Sorry, Sir Andrew. And we're not going to solve anything either if you keep omitting things. Speak for yourself. I'm not the only one doing it. You'll have to forgive my former student, Miss Santos. He's always been the curious kind. Many people think he's lazy, but it's actually the opposite. <laughs> I see that hasn't changed. Oh, really? How is he back when he was your student? I'm sorry, I need to ask. He doesn't talk much about that. And there's a reason why. Please don't. <laughs> Tried to sleep on the first day of class. He didn't repeat it after what I made him do when I caught him. Students like him are the easiest to deal with, once you know what piques their interest. I'd have to say, he's one of the very few who is actually interested in the subject, though. Ah, but there was this one time when... Miss Santos, a word of advice. Just keep in mind that when it comes to cases such as this, they aren't always what they seem. going you can drop me off at the park guess you have three chances i'm serious ash where are we going
Here, take it. What's this for? My arm's getting tired. Five, four, three, two. I saw the place open the other day, when we watched Zack's movie. Thought I should give it a try. It doesn't seem like a bad place to get food from time to time. And you're giving me free ice cream because... Do I need to have a reason? Are you really going to ask me that? trying. I am nice. When you're sleeping, but thanks for this. Don't go losing it. It brings bad luck if you do. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, that's what they say. You did this on purpose, didn't you? Oh, I should have known! Not entirely, but seriously, if something, anything happens, tell me. I'll be around. Don't look at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. Where's your owner, anyway?
Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before. A cat. Not black, of course. <sighs> and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. Sorry, did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Bruce was not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no, he was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Bruce feels a she. Luke, because for once in a very long time, we are doing what I want.
but I guess we can free up a day to meet with you. I'll stop if it makes you uncomfortable, sweetie. Sorry. I was talking with Zachary, the photographer. Be honest with me, Marianne. I don't need someone to sugarcoat it. I'm so sorry for her behavior. She's been under a lot of stress and the alcohol. Talking nonsense, that's all it is. You're not allowed to drink because of the baby, Shelley. What are you thinking? Nothing to see here, people. Move along.
Uh, hey! I figured you could use the save. You looked like you weren't doing too hot back there. Uh, do we need to call a doctor or something? Oh no, I'm... I'll just be needing some fresh air, that's all. Some help getting out of here would be much appreciated. Sure, that won't be a problem. I wanted to get away from this drama too anyway. Just... Hey, Zachary! Hey, Zach! Becca! This is a real me- uh, Oh, hey, Miss Wright. Zachary, I told you to call me Hana. Did I not? Yeah, you did. So, this is what you called me for. We gonna get Hana out of here? <laughs> That'd be great. Hey, I gotta go back in there. Completely forgot my bag like an airhead, and I'll see if I can tag Ash on the way out. You'll be fine here, right, Hannah? Not to worry, dearie. I'll just be right here. Zack will be with you if you need anything. Zachary? Yeah, you need something? I was only going to say how nice it is to see you again. Oh, okay. You okay there, Hana? I mean, of course you're not okay after what happened in there. I mean, th th that was terrible. But you're not gonna just fall down and faint or anything, right? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. 
I should be asking you the same thing. I remember you being a lot more eloquent. Oh yeah, I'm just not too good with staying too long in a crowded room. Or handling intense drama, you know. Sorry about my clothes, didn't think there'd be a dress code. Not that I have anything that nice to wear to a shindig like this. I dig nice, small, simple parties, so this is a real doozy for me. And do you host your own nice, small, and simple parties often? Only when there's occasion, birthdays, and stuff. Those are a lot more fun for me, and I can be a lot more selective about letting only the people I'm cool with attend, right? I get to pick the food, too. Of course, I make most of them myself. There's usually a dozen people or less, and all we really do is just hang out. Maybe do some grilling, karaoke, dancing, you know, the usual. That sounds nice. Yeah. You sure you're all right? You aren't exactly being eloquent yourself, as you put it. You must have something you want to get off your chest. I don't know, Zachary. What am I supposed to say? You can scream merd if you want. I won't snitch. You want to know what I think? How I feel? I think my friend may have slept with my husband. At least, I'm pretty sure she isn't pregnant with his baby, which isn't much now, is it? My husband is a selfish, pretentious, bloody sack of shite, and... Ugh! You know what? I don't give a flying fuck anymore! My God! Well, that ain't good. Not giving a crap won't make the problem go away. I'm going to ask him for a break, Zachary. I'm not going to pretend that there isn't a problem, but I just need to step back. Fair enough. As long as you don't just up and disappear on him, I suppose. Yes. Now can we please stop talking about him? Tell me more about your small, simple parties. Karaoke and dancing. How does that even go together? Simple, really. We hope Ash doesn't take the mic, put on a bit of fun music, and just dance. Not that I can't. But there ain't nothing complex about it. You can't be that bad. I'm pretty good with the twist. Or that's what they tell me, at least. I think they're just being nice. I'm sure it just looks awkward. At least you can cook, allegedly. You still bring no proof. This party ain't exactly a potluck, is it? True, true. Perhaps you can invite me to one of your simple parties. I will bring the cake. Yeah, why not? But with a cake that big like at your housewarming party, we'll be eating frosting for weeks. Maybe make it a little simpler and it's a deal. Simple? Would be nice. Luke, I... I think we need a bit of a break. You know, some time apart.
It's not permanent or anything like that. Just for a while. In a few days, perhaps. I was thinking I can move back into our penthouse in the meantime, but I, I won't be moving out right away, so that I can help settle everything here. And I haven't even thought of packing yet. And I'll want to ask Johans to assign some of our staff. Uh, unless you want the penthouse anyway, then I'll stay here instead. Hmm? No, you take the penthouse. It'll be easier for you. Isn't this to your liking? I imagine that you'd like the space and independence. You'll have the bed and covers to yourself, and you can have whatever you want prepared for meals. You can even have all the wine you want, though I... I'd rather that you don't. This isn't about that, Hana. Well, it's partly that, but... What's wrong, Luke? Aside from that disaster yesterday and you telling me you want a divorce, everything is peachy keen. Will you want me to start in the letters then? To start the divorce settlements and whatnot? Will you be seeking ways to throw me out onto the street without a penny to my name? No, Luke, this isn't a divorce. I just told you this is only temporary. Are you really having a sulk because of what she said yesterday? I am having a sulk because you believe her. You stormed out and now you're asking for us to split up? Soon enough, you'll want to throw me out like I'm a piece of trash. Do you think I would be this calm if I believed her, Lucille Mitchell Wright? Because believe me, if I did, well, it wouldn't be pretty. Besides, I know how you feel about children. It makes a whole statement laughable. Sure, whatever you say. When are you leaving? In a week? It won't take that long to pack. After all saints, perhaps? I'll go and inform the staff of this. What are you still doing here? Just leave. You still have some packing to do, don't you? Go ahead. I won't stop you. Yes, Hana, go buy a mansion in the middle of nowhere. Good idea. Great plan.
Rebecca Gale's here. Uh, who's this? Good morning, Becky. Uh, Hannah? Oh, wait, how did you get my number? You responded to your RSVP through the phone. It's all saved in here, of course. I thought I'd like to say hi and make plans and get together sometime. Also, I'd love to hear news about your mother and father and about you, my dear. Oh, I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, you're good. It's sports day at school today, so I was just prepping for that. Figures that you'd be a teacher as well. I'm sure your students must absolutely adore you. <laughs> Don't know about that. Mathematics? History, actually. Anyway, it's real nice to know you've got my number. I was going to ask for yours because Mom wanted to keep in touch. You could have asked, silly girl. I would have gladly given it to you. Couldn't, though, because, well, the thing that happened. But really am sorry, though. I gotta run. School, schedule, stuff. Is there anything else you want to say? Don't want to use the mobile while driving? Oh, of course, of course. I shouldn't keep you. But I wanted to thank you for your company yesterday. Not a problem. I was hoping you could thank Zachary on my behalf as well. He was really kind and wonderful. Well, you can tell him that yourself if you want. I can give you his number. Oh, no, no, I don't want to be a bother. Intruding on his privacy. Pretty sure he'd be fine with it. If you two on a first name basis and all. So his number, right, it's... <laughs>
Hana? Hana, what is going on in here? Why are you? Prince. <laughs> Please. What happened here? Who did this to you? I don't know. I am so, so sorry. You're safe now, Hana. You're safe now. But a little peek wouldn't hurt, yeah? No, please wait! I'll be good! I'll sleep on time! Don't go! Way too early for this thing, man.
I invite you, my friend, into my house on a day of merriment. And you insult my name and accuse my husband of infidelity. What have I ever done to make you treat us with such disrespect? You are no longer welcome in any of our estates, our properties and our businesses. And we will no longer patronize yours. Now, escort the girl and make sure she isn't standing even an inch within our grounds. You won't show your face to me ever again if you know what is good for you, Rochelle. Take her away.
And you. We are going to talk about this, Lucille Mitchell Wright. Not now, but we will talk about this. Uh, right, I swear that is not my child, no matter what that woman says. Hannah, darling, you believe me, don't you? I believe that it isn't your child. But you never said that you did not cheat on me with her. We'll have a talk about that tomorrow, among other things. What for? What other things? About us, Luke. This isn't right, this doubting each other and not talking. That's why we'll talk. If anyone needs me, I'll be in our room. I'm in no mood to be talking with anyone about anything. Especially nosy baggers who have no business with any of it. Should I be worried? Scared? Because you know threats do not work with me, Hana. None of those. You should know I'm not your enemy, Luke. I just need... I need rest. That's all. Of course. Of course. You must be so tired. You've earned some peace. I'll take over the party from here. Good night, love. Good night, Buttercup. I've learned that men tend to exaggerate. What? Do you need a demonstration? That would be preferable, yes. Yeah. It's not like there's music here, Hana. Come on. I've learned that men tend to exaggerate. You can't honestly be that bad, can you? What? Do you need a demonstration? That would be preferable, yes. It's not like there's music here, Hana. Come on. I could barely dance with music, and I, I, I don't want to be dancing alone. I'll just look silly. Imagine, mon ami. You are an artiste, are you not? With your photos and films and your guitar, you must know notes to play an instrument. Find a melody and a beat. Would it be such a stretch of the imagination? And don't fret, I will gladly be your partner. to dance, Zach. The 60s want their moves back, honestly. The college of two left feet, obviously. And I'll have you know the twist is still an awesome dance.
Luke, I... I think we need a bit of a break. You know, some time apart. It's not permanent or anything like that. Just for a while. In a few days, perhaps. I was thinking I can move back into our penthouse in the meantime, but I, I won't be moving out right away, so that I can help settle everything here. And I haven't even thought of packing yet, and I'll want to ask Johans to assign some of our staff. Uh, unless you want the penthouse anyway, then I'll stay here instead. Hmm? No, you take the penthouse. Nap time is over, kinder. Time to go. Energetic, and you aren't drunk. That or you are getting better with handling your hangovers without your dog hairs. Should I be looking out the window to see if the sky has turned red and if pigs have started to fly? I am unfortunately completely sober, Hana. And how does it feel not being hungover? Still miserable. It'll get better. Or so they say. You wanted to talk about something. You know, for once, I wish you were hungover. Maybe this isn't the best time for this talk. No, no, please. I do not like loose ends. And this is a bloody ugly loose end. Then, first things first, I want you to be honest with me. Just between the two of us. Without others to impress. Without people listening in. Just you and me. Did you or did you not sleep with Rochelle and got her pregnant? I didn't get her pregnant, but the thought of having a child with her? Can you just imagine it? Or rather, don't. I can already see it. It'll look like that ruddy pig boy from that young wizard book. I don't care about once upon a time. What I'm asking is if you were with her the other night during my party. She, she made me meet with her the night of your party. But I swear, I only agreed to go so that I could tell her I wasn't having none of it. It isn't my baby. I don't even think it's Lee's. Poor bloke. I mean, I probably slept with her once. We were probably incredibly drunk, but that would have been a long time ago before she was prego. Are you sure, Luke? 
You're not making anything up or leaving anything out. Of course not. I swear it on my mother's grave. <sighs> well, if that's all you wanted to talk about, you shouldn't have made me worry. For the sake of my sanity and for the sake of our marriage, I'll pretend that you never said any of that. Are you sure you aren't drunk now? Haven't had a single drop and hating it. Would you like something to drink? Because I'm not done. I have something else to tell you. No thanks. Maybe I will after this little talk you wanted to have. I already told you and you already said you believe me that the brat isn't my child. I already spilled that I might have had drunken sex with her once and you wish to wipe that off your memory. So do we have anything else to talk about because have at it. I'm all ears. You're pretty miffed for someone who just admitted to his wife that he's cheated. And you're stalling. I can tell that incident has you shaken up. So why don't you just spit it out and get this all over with? I'm pregnant. What? Come again? You heard me. You've got to be kidding, right? 